Okay, so um, this is making your WordPress site social. And um, so my name's Reiko, and I've been using WordPress probably for about three and a half years. Um, discovered it, and then um, decided this is the way to go. And part of my excitement was that I found the WordPress Meetup Boston, and I encourage everybody that's in this area to go to it because not only just the subjects that they cover each meeting, but the group of people that are around and how friendly and helpful everybody is. And I wouldn't be up here talking if it wasn't for people there. Um, I'm not a coder, but they said, okay, we need some more speakers for beginners, and um, anybody here can apply. So I did. And so I want to thank Kurt and James who run the meetup because they have been so helpful to me in my development and my growth. And I encourage everybody to at least check out the site, go on to meetup and sign up so you get the announcements of what's happening. So what we're covering today is just a little basic social media and a little bit about content marketing. Um, we're going to talk about making a plan and then I'm going to show you some tools that I use, some plugins and widgets that I've either seen or used or read about and thought was good. Okay, so what this is not, it's not going to be about BuddyPress or making your site a social site. It's more about bringing in other social sites that already exist like Twitter and Facebook and how to implement that so that your site is a little more social. And it's also not going to be... Buddy Press is like having your own Facebook. So you can have an enclosed group of your own on a WordPress site. But that's not what we're going to be talking about. There's a session on Sunday, I think, that's going to talk about that. And this is also not about coding because I am not a programmer and I'm not a developer. Um, my technique is more like this photo of twins, copy and paste. If I find some good code, I grab it, I paste it in. If it works, then I'm keeping it. If it doesn't work, I take it out. So. That's kind of my philosophy on working with WordPress. So what social does, or this is what I think it does, it increases your web presence. And it's about sharing and growing your market, something that's important, whether your market is selling stuff or just getting more followers. Um, it spreads your content to other sites and improves your user experience, hopefully. And you can also use it to bring content to your site. So this is kind of what we see as how social media works. First, you have your website or your blog. Um, you create content on your blog, but you also can, can create content on other s networks. Um, YouTube, Flickr, SlideShare are a couple of um, examples. And then from there, you use Twitter and Facebook, LinkedIn, and a bunch of other tools to spread your information that you've created. So when I was, um, when I was first putting this talk together, I said, well, you know, why would people want to think about integrating their site? And so the things I came up with were to build followers, to create a community. Maybe you have you know, a site about gardening and you want you know, gardeners to come to it and actually talk about gardening on different levels. Um, the other reasons are to create a call to action, which is like sign up for um, a product or send this to a friend, register now, or even buy now. Those are kind of calls to actions. And then it's to either get 
your site to sell items or to get donors if you're a nonprofit organization. So it's about bringing people from these other sites, your Facebook friends, and trying to get them to come to your site and do something. Okay, so I took a look and looked all over the web and um, I found a lot of possibilities of different things you can do. So you can share a post or you can share pages or URLs. Um, you can either do that on other social media platforms or via email. So on your site, you can um, have people subscribe to your posts, either through a reader or by email. Um, you can also, the other example on the other side is um, add to any, and at the bottom of the posts, they can choose from a number of different social sites or email um, how they want to share it. Um, you can collect email addresses and you can also use embed codes to share content from other sites. So examples of bringing content from other sites into your site is you can put in a Facebook in your sidebar and show um, how many people like your page and pictures of people that have liked your page. Um, you can have a Twitter feed coming in and showing people that you're also on Twitter and you're active on Twitter or not active on Twitter. Um, you can also take your posts and share them on other sites. So you can, so we have a um, site called Tech Day Camp and each day we write a little cute post about technology. And so that's pulling from our blog posts and posting it on our Facebook page. And we also, it automatically tweets out when we put up a new blog post each day. So without me doing anything except writing the posts and making sure it goes up, um, they're being posted on our other sites. And I know that's not necessarily ideal for everyone or every situation because if you have Facebook followers that are also following you on Twitter, they don't want to see the same content. But it's an easy way to start getting your content pushed out. And you may want to maybe choose one or the other and maybe not do it on both. And, um, but that's something that you need to think about when you're planning out your strategy. So some other things you can do is you can, um, there are plugins to do reviews and ratings. You can have people rate the different comments on your posts. You can have them rate your posts. Um, and then the other way to make it social is to um, have a way to easily let people comment on your posts. So by using either the Facebook sign-ins or Discus, um, they don't have to, each time they come to your site, sign in. They can use their Facebook sign in or their um, sign in under Discus and it automatically lets them make comments so it's a lot easier. Like I visit a lot of posts from different, excuse me, a lot of blogs from different people and on some of them I don't have to sign in the first, after the first time I've signed in and made a comment, it'll remember me and it makes it easier for me to make a post or a comment on a post if I don't have to think, oh, now I have to put in my email address and all that stuff and sign in and wait for it to be approved. Okay, so my idea is that you need to first make a plan. You need to figure out where you want to be. If, if, you're, if you have a blog or you have a website and you aren't yet on any of these, then you need to kind of figure out where the people are that are following you already. So if a lot of them are on Twitter, then you might want to focus on Twitter. If the majority of people are on Facebook, again, you know, you have to kind of judge where your people are. Um, we run a gymnastics site and none of them are on LinkedIn, but 
everybody's on Facebook. Very few of them are on Twitter, so we focus on our Facebook um, when we think about what we're doing on our site. And the other thing you want to think about is whether you want one of those single sign-ins for comments. Then you have to think about um, sharing your content and the different ways that it can be shared. So there's overall, which is getting subscribers to your email or your reader. And um, next, what you want to do is make sure that it's easy to share posts and pages. And there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, and next, you probably want to think about putting your posts on other sites, like I mentioned before, LinkedIn, Facebook, or tweeting out the links. And then whether you want to bring in other sites to your site, either through a reader a feed on, from their blog or um, a Twitter feed or your Facebook. And then whether you want people to be able to rate and review your comments or products. So basically, what you need to do is kind of, before you start adding all these plugins that you may have, or may have seen, or may have heard of, you want to figure out what you want on your site and what you want to accomplish when people are viewing your site. So how do you do it? Well, there's a lot of themes that help you out on this. There are plugins, and then there's always the text box in the sidebar. So themes, um, you can search under WordPress themes. Um, I did a search for just social media and I came up with probably about seven pages of different themes that in some way tag themselves as being social media. So those are some of the free ones. Cyberchimps has a theme, um, iFeature Pro, which we used on our Gym Smart site. And it has an area to um, easily put in your general Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube type things. Um, I put a reference here because I ran across this while I was putting together my slideshow yesterday. Um, social H did a blog post on the 20 best social themes and they have little reviews on it. So just to show you, if you have a theme, then it's really easy to put those little, this little thing up because they just have it listed out for you. If you want your Facebook in there, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, you can either hide them or put in the link and show them. So by having a theme that is already set up for social, it makes it real easy to, do, to start getting yourself online. So the other way is with um, plugins or widgets. And literally, there's thousands of plugins on WordPress to do that. And um, some of them are the Facebook Share, Twitter Retweet, Tweet Me Me, Facebook Like. There's just a lot of them out there. Some are good, some are not so good. And um, it's kind of hard to say one is better than the other, but um, they do, some of them do a lot, some of them don't do too much, except like a Twitter retweet. Um, then for comments, there's Discus and there's Facebook comments for WordPress that you can use. Okay, um, a lot of people have been using um, underneath your comment section, the thing called sexy bookmarks. I've seen it on a lot of sites. Um, it's a very easy plugin that you just put in and it shows up under your post. Um, the one I've, I've used in the past a lot is add to any, which is this little um, corner one over here. Um, on the site, all you see is that little top bar, 
which says share and save. And then when they click on it, then they have all these options to look up. Um, the one that I'm in love with right now is Socialize. Um, John Bishop, who's, I think he's speaking tomorrow, um, he created this plugin and it's really great because it gives you your up by your post, it has the tweets and the Facebook like. And then at the bottom, and you have a choice of so many different options that you can use on this. And then at the bottom, underneath your post, you're able to put in some text if you want, and then any of the different social media sites that you're on. And um, it shows up on every single one of your sites. So if you have something that you want every blog post, even past ones, to have in it, then um, it's a great little plug-in. The other thing is, if you change that wording at the bottom or you change the different um, social, social buttons, then um, it'll change it on all the past posts also. So like if you advertise having an event or a meeting or something, it will change all of them, even your back posts. Okay, and then the other way to do it is to um, use the text box. And on our Tech Day campsite, all they had was a header area where you can put things in. And so what we did was we put our social media things in there by using just some HTML and putting the little pictures up there and then putting the links to them. Wow, that was quick. Okay, so... Um, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Um, like the sexy bookmarks, these are all the things you have to choose from. You shouldn't put them all up there. And you should pick and choose what you use. And that's basically all I have to say about it. <laughs> so are there any questions? I could go in and show you some of them in, in the back if you'd like. Sorry, this, um, the resolution changed my sizing of my windows, so. What I'd like to do is show you the socialize. Okay, so um, this one, um, You have an option of the inline buttons, which is the ones on the top. You can have them up and down, or you can have them going horizontal. And you can decide whether you want to do it on the just the posts or pages and posts. Um, and then you can set the background color 
to that bottom area that I showed you. Also the border cover. And then you can put in any kind of text or HTML that you want in that little box. And so you can, this is the general settings. And then as you go through it, you can also, um, each post or page, you can customize those settings. So this is in general, and it will happen no matter where you are. And then um, if you want to change it for a specific post, like if you have a big picture on your post and you don't want those side things coming up, then you can take them off on the individual posts. And these are all the buttons that you have already installed. And um, you can do box counts. You can show faces. You can um, decide what the width is. You can change the fonts. Here's the Twitter settings. You can use the official Twitter button or the different Tweet Me Me and um, back type. This is where you put in the, the site that you want it to go to. And um, there's we did stumble upon Google Buzz, Google Plus One button settings. And then if you go to a specific post, when you go into the edit, you can see the socialize buttons right there. And we don't have any currently on the inline portion, but if I clicked it here, let's put in Twitter and Facebook, and hit update. They're right up in this corner now. And then at the bottom, we still have our little information here. So if I want to go back and change that, Google Buzz and Delicious and let's put Google Plus One at the bottom. Okay, well, that's not working. Should I save it? There we go. So now at the top, I added the delicious and the buzz. And at the bottom, the plus one. So I think it's a really great plugin to quickly get your site social. And then, let's see. Um, On this site, I 
I have the Twitter and the like buttons up on top and then a number of different things on the bottom here but I also have this is I just added this like last week so um, I also in the past I was using this share and save and so I can share it on Twitter or I can email somebody or I can add it to a bookmark easily and then I have these Yes. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I don't have a plugin on that for um, doing comments. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, he asked about the comment section if I had a plugin on that, and I currently don't um, have one of those that I talked about, like the Facebook sign in. Um, it's just the uh, comments for the blog. No, it's just what came with the theme. What's the benefit of the save? You have the share and the save. What's the benefit of the save? So you can bookmark it and save it for a future reference. Oh, okay. That is, <laughs> that's basically it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, on the right hand side, there are two columns when you're setting up for the socialize, and one is alert box and the other is buttons. What's the difference? Oh. The difference is um, these are the buttons, and this is the alert box. So you can write whatever you want in that box. You can put a picture in it like we have here. Um, so you have the buttons on one side, and then you can have the buttons on either side, and you can have any kind of text you want. So that's the alert portion of it. Thanks. The plugins that you've uh, shown us uh, help people who are visiting our sites to um, blast stuff out um, to uh, people who are there part, of, part of their networks. But what if um, you've got content that you want to promote on your own uh, Twitter feed or Facebook um, page that you've set up uh, for your content? Do you have plugins or recommendations for how to get that stuff out? In other words, I don't want to have people necessarily proactively clicking on a Twitter button um, to, to retweet my stuff, I want to make sure that it goes out to the Twitter feed associated with with my site. Yep, we have that going on right now on this Tech Day Camp site and right now we're using Auto Twitter. And it seems to be working well. It's a real simple plug-in. And so anytime we publish the post, it will automatically tweet out the name of the post and a link to it. And then for Facebook right now, we're using the Facebook API. So we go into Facebook and have it pull in. Um, we're finding that that isn't real consistent. So if anybody has a good Facebook plug-in, um, I'd be happy to take a look at it because I'm looking for one, but I have just started realizing that that isn't working well and I'm having to go and search for something else. Yes? I don't believe so. There are, I think there are some that will do that, but I didn't because what we're tweeting out is just like a real basic um, fun tech information. I didn't want it to just, you know, if, if we had to change the spelling on a word, I didn't want it to tweet it out again. 
so I'm using this one that's very basic. But I think there are ones that, if you revise your post, they'll retweet it. So are there any other questions? Yes? You want to get the microphone? You mentioned uh, deciding and prioritizing which um, social media channel you want to send various blog posts or announcements, whatever, out to. And you mentioned something about you knew that the people who came to your website came by way of X or Y social media. How mm -hmm. did you find that out? Um, through analytics by looking at what um, where people are seeing us. Um, let's see. I have Google Analytica on my site, so if I go to my dashboard. I'm able to see right here um, where people are coming from, top pages that are viewed, and top refers. So right now I have Twitter.com as one of the higher places that we're getting visits from. Um, Facebook.com, we got three visits from it. And we just opened up the site um, July 1st, so we don't have very many people that know about it or that are following it. So, But we've been tweeting it out, we've been putting it on Facebook, and people are starting to find it. So nine visits may not seem like much, but I'm going, wow, that's great, <laughs> because we haven't been doing promoting on it yet. Thank you. Hmm? I host it on a company called West Coast. Not 99%, more like 70%. Um, there are some some better hosting, and I'm out shopping right now. For the uh, new Google service, which uh, is trying to take the place of Facebook, maybe, um, have you seen any plugins built for that yet? Um, this one, this Socialize, has has it on there already? Okay. Um, oh, we have another question. Hi, actually, I had a recommendation for Facebook. There is a plugin called Word Booker. Word Booker? Yes, and you have the option to either automatically post it on your personal wall or on your business slash fan page wall, or both. And it seems to work pretty quickly. It'll post right away, and you can even put a prefix to the post. So you can say, have it say new blog post before showing the title of my blog post or a link to it. So it seems to work pretty well. Great, thank you. I think that's important that it can do your personal and also a page. Actually, someone had just asked a question about Twitter over here as well. I know you had mentioned there was a plugin that you use to auto tweet your posts out. Uh, there are a handful of websites as well that will do the same thing through the RSS feed. I personally use Twitter, twitterfeed.com, which is a pretty solid site. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, it pulls right from the RSS feed and sends it through Twitter. Uh, the website that I write on has 15 authors, and we all use it and have no problems. Great. Anything else? Yes. Um, on the socialize, it has it on there. I think he updated it like last week. Okay, well, thank you very much.